Welcome. This celebration is a tribute to the submarine force's proud history of service and to each individual submariner, past, present, and future, who is part of its extraordinary legacy. Submariners share a special bond that links them by strong traditions, loyalty, and self-sacrifice. I am proud to have been a member of the submarine force, and I am honored to share that bond with those who serve today. I know that our nation joins me in recognizing and honoring our century of silent service. At the dawn of the 20th century, the United States made an investment in a primitive steel boat that could operate underwater. The investment would change the world. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. This is a model of the Navy's first nuclear-powered submarine, the Nautilus. Let every nation know that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. It has always been a service marked by determination. It was able to do things that nobody else could do. We capitalized on our stealth, our endurance on station. We hounded the Soviet Navy. At one point in time, he turned to me and says, it's you, it's your damn submarines. You're the problem. A service marked by danger. But it's pretty impressive to tell a young man that he comes aboard, we're not, we're not gonna run this thing with fear. But by the way, if you don't do it right, we all die. Once the destroyers are know they've been fired at, they get rather nasty. And when they speed it up, you knew they're going to start dropping depth charges. And you could hear it through the hull of the submarine. Click, click. The whole stern of the ship was lifted out of the water. The boat keeps going down like this and down like this, and the angle starts to increase. I watched the depth gauge uh, go by about 350 feet. The next thing in my head flashed through my mind, it's too late in May and I'm too young to die. A service marked by sacrifice. I'd be in the radio room and I would get a pair of earphones and I'd listen. And one time I was in there and something pretty serious was going on and uh, the whole crew knew that. And you could just tell that they knew that I was getting a message was telling me that the trigger was sunk. It is the story of heroism, of tragedy, of victory, of rescue. I managed to bail out and was rescued by the USS Finback. I was never so glad to see anything in my life. From the days of gasoline engines to remarkable nuclear power, from errant torpedoes to missiles with precision accuracy, from being overlooked and underestimated to becoming America's most potent force. It is the story of an indomitable human spirit that survived the challenges, faced the enemies, and devised the technologies. It is the story of a century of silent service.